So, 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 and grow, 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 guys. Today we are going to be harvesting, and we're going to be harvesting yet another harvest of kales, collard greens, and today we are also going to be harvesting a uh, bunch of onion green tops, and of course, strawberries. We've got to keep harvesting them strawberries, okay? So, yeah, and then we're going to take a garden tour. No. We're just going to be harvesting today, okay, guys? So we're going to be harvesting those things today, and we're going to be cutting them, uh, the greens, the collard greens, and putting them in the deep freezer, okay? Because I want me some of those um, for the holidays, all right? So that's what we're going to be doing with those. Strawberries, of course, you know you got to eat those up. And green tops, I'm going to be using that today because we have a turkey ham that I'm going to be putting in the oven soon, and I want to add some uh, fresh vegetables to my turkey hand all right guys so that's what we're going to be doing today harvesting and maybe i'll show you a tidbit of me putting my turkey hand together all right guys so we're out here to harvest these beautiful collard greens and dinosaur kale all right so before we harvest it i'm going to take you inside and then we're going to start harvesting so I can show you what they all look like, okay? So I have like two dinosaur uh, plants in here. And then I have the rest, I have six collard greens in here. So yes, they grew beautifully because of this tool. Tool is a great tool to have in your garden. <laughs> um, let's take you guys inside and I'll show you what it looks like. Hey guys, so this is what the collard greens are looking like. Beautiful. And there's your dinosaur kale in there. Absolutely beautiful. Look at the ridge on that kale. All right. And you have your collard greens here. So let me show you what it looks like there. And I mean, just absolutely beautiful. I'm trying to show you guys the inside. So that's what that stalk looks like. And then the collard greens. Some more in the back. So these definitely help the plants. Oh my goodness, look at that. Can you see that down in there? Like I said, disrespectful from the seagulls. I live in the city. So that's what we get. But there you go beautiful all right so now we're just going to harvest these and chop them up and put them in the freezer all right guys so we're going to just you always pluck from the outside of your plant never in the inside so always pluck from the outside first you can use your hand whatever you need to get them and get closest to the plant as possible when you're harvesting them Okay, so I'm going to show you what I mean close to the plant. And what I mean by close to the plant, you want to get close to the stalk as possible. So like right there, okay? So we're going to take our shears, mining ourselves not to chop our plant, but we're going to get close to that. And as you guys can see, there you go. Right? So that's what I mean, close as possible. So you can get that beautiful beautiful leaf okay and we're going to be placing it in our basket in our wooden basket okay all right okay so there you go
Alright guys, so this is how much food you can actually harvest out of six plants, guys. Six plants. Six plants, guys. Look at all of these greens. This is from six plants, right? So I wanted to show you that before I started. This is the collard greens. I wanted to show you guys this before I started harvesting. It's a big truck. I live in the city. But um, I, before I started harvesting my dinosaur kale, I wanted you to see the harvest of the collard greens by itself. So I've been trying to push it over here so I can get my dinosaur kale in here, all right? So I'm gonna put my dinosaur kale over there. But wow, what a harvest. What a harvest. So now let's go on to these dinosaur kale. So this is what it's looking like now, guys. So the only plants left are the two dinosaur kills, all right? Always from the outside, guys. Never from the inside, always from the outside first. Beautiful that is. No bugs, no bites. It's just absolutely gorgeous. That's a dinosaur kill. Now, if my space was bigger, I'm pretty sure these leaves would be longer and bigger. But because of the size I have, space I have, I'm not going to complain at all.
Okay, got the right out box. Let's get this one off of here too. Alright guys, so we are finished. Alright guys, so this is what it looks like. It's the second harvest, so I'm just really excited for that. So let's see if we can get another harvest out of here before this starts bolting. I love how the stalks look. And like when I chop this down, I just usually leave that in the ground. Let it give it some more, you know, for itself. Usually they'll just dry up anyway. These are dry up anyway. So, this is what it looks like out here now, guys. It's really, really good. So, let's push it back here. So, my six collard greens and three in the back, three in the front. And I have my two kales in the middle. And it gave me all this luscious food. Look at that, guys. Look at all this food. Never say that you cannot grow in small spaces. Look at that dinosaur kale. Look how beautiful it is. Nice, rich green color. And then look at all this um, collard greens, guys. Wow, what a nice, nice harvest, all right? Let me go pick, pick out, I think it's like two or three little cherry tomatoes I wanna pick, and we're gonna finish this harvest off and end this video, but I'm excited, guys. Wow. It more fell, but wow. I'm excited. <clears throat> Let's get my little food off the ground, honey. Y'all want all my, oh, it's my food that I'm growing this year. I'm not playing. I'm not throwing nothing away this year. Okay? Look at that beautiful display. All right, guys, so we're out in the back, and I do want to pick these three Bing Cherry tomatoes. It's just three of them. They're ready to be harvested. So I'm going to pick these off. And as you guys can see, the tree is definitely loaded. And there's one under there. So, yeah, I have my three. I'm excited. Look how beautiful these are. Nice and orange. So I have those. I'm excited for those. Now, I did cut off the onion tops, and I did cut out the uh, kale from out of here. These are much smaller than the ones that's in the garden bed out in the front. I'm not going to harvest the mint. I just let it grow. Um, cabbage is okay and everything else. Oh, yeah, I said I wanted to harvest. Let me put these on my step. I wanted to harvest the broccoli, right? So let's harvest that broccoli right quick. It's like probably two stalks of broccoli. <laughs> so, oops, let's see if we can get it. There we go. So, let's harvest here. That's one. I don't think I'm going to eat that one. That's the one I think I said I was going to let go to see, but I harvested it already. Let's harvest that one. Can you guys see? Um, it's so sunny out here now. <laughs> can you see that one? There we go. And I want to harvest them right under the head. So we have one little broccoli there. And let's see if we have another broccoli. And it looks like my arm is trying to slip out. There we go. Let's see. Any more broccoli? There we go. We got one more head. There we go. Can you guys see? Because I can't see. There we go. Okay. So let me snip him off. And we got broccoli, guys, so I'm going to just take my little broccoli heads, <laughs> of course. So I got two little broccolis. Well, I'm going to say, well, yeah, two, because this one's almost flowering, but I'm going to take these two. So that is my harvest for today. And then I got my cherry tomatoes with my broccoli. All right, guys, this is my harvest today. My prism kale looks really good. Prism kale, curly kale, whatever you want to call it. That's what I have. That's a whole basket of kale from the one 
outside green stock and let me show you comparison this is from the green stock look how small that is all right compared to outside in the raised bed okay that little bit i mean so yeah i know what i'm doing next year all right so that is that he's been out for a while so now that's why they don't look like they're really sitting up so i'm gonna have to definitely chop those down and get them in the freezer all right and then i do have some tops of my bunch of onions right here and they absolutely smell delicious so I did i set my harvest there and let's move on to the basket look at this basket full of nutrition vitamins good green healthy green leaves so these are the dinosaur kale here okay i did get two broccoli heads <laughs> Two is better than nothing. I got three Bing cherry tomatoes and a paretha of collard greens. Look at all these greens. There's so many greens in here that it's just loaded with greens, guys. Big, healthy leaves of greens. So I have a lot to chop up and put in the freezer. So, yes, I'm excited. But look at my little broccoli. I'm excited for the little broccoli. That came out of the green stalk. I don't think I want to put the broccoli in the green stalk anymore. This maybe next year I won't do that, but we're just gonna leave it as is for now. But I'm excited for my harvest. And let me stick this basket over here. Let's take this out of the way so we can get a gist of the harvest. Okay, guys. And never mind the mess on the side. <laughs> Remember, guys, let's grow together so we can eat together. All right, guys, we are out in the backyard, so we're going to be harvesting peas as well. These are the Alaskan peas that I got from the Dollar Tree, guys. Yes, as you can see, I have a lot of peas on this tree that I'm going to harvest today, guys, from the Dollar Tree. Who knew? So let's harvest some peas, guys. Let me use my sheet, my, you know, pruners. Use my bucket that I got from the Dollar Tree also, and I just put a napkin in the bottom. And how are you going to know that you're... So I'm going to napkin out too, because, listen, they big. Y'all gonna let my food grow. Y'all gonna let my food grow. Of course, you guys know I live in the city. That's why you're gonna hear a lot of noise. I live in the city, so I live. I, you're gonna hear a lot. You're gonna hear a lot. Um. So anyway, I'm gonna show you guys what a ready pea looks like. Is ready to harvest when they're not ready to harvest. All right, guys. So what you wanna look for when you're looking for peas to harvest? We're going to look up here. All right, so what you guys are looking for when it's time to harvest is, I mean, let me, I want to bring you guys closer. Let me see. So let's find one, and then I'm going to show you a bug on here too. Let me show you these bugs. Okay, these, this is ready to be harvested. Okay. So let's... Pull us off and let me see, oh, the bug fell off already. So I was gonna show you guys. So you're looking for a pea that looks like this, and you, as you can see, it's already really pronounced. But sometimes they look like this, but don't feel like this. If it feels squishy, it's not ready. Excuse me. If it feels squishy, it's not ready to be harvested. But as this one, as you can see, is nice and firm, and you can see you actually see the peas in there. All right. So we're gonna pull the hat off like so. Yep. Let's see if we can get the head off. There we go. And you pull the string. Boom. That's what it should look like. And then we'll open up the husk. And there we are. Peas, guys. Y'all see that? Peas. Look at those peas. Oh, wow. Look at that. Peas. See that, guys? Peas. And that's how your peas should look. Nice and full. Nice and full of life. Peas. Alaskan peas. 
All right, let's taste one. Mmm, it's really sweet. Mmm, like, I like it. So that's, that's the harvesting. So I showed you what it looks like to be harvested, and I'll show you one that doesn't, it's not ready to be harvested. But oh, wow. Great flavor. So we'll harvest. We'll harvest. She down. She down. Okay, but the bugs don't fall for you. I can maybe say, all right, let me see. Now, I want to see if you guys can see these little teeny bugs. Let's see those bugs. That's no good. I usually come out here and wipe my peas off so I can keep my peas so they don't eat through them. But that's what those little teeny bugs look like, guys. If you can see those little bugs, you don't want that on your food. Those are bugs. Mm mm. So what I do is, it's too many here, and there are like a lot of babies. You can see adults on there too. I'm gonna just toss that over that way. There you go, bye-bye. Yeah, this one's ready. I don't know why I don't just use my printers. I'm gonna show you one that, that's not ready. I was gonna show you that one, but that one had bugs in it, the one I was showing you guys. And if you wanna keep these, store these, do not cut the hats off. These are the hats. This top part is the hat. Don't snip that part off if you wanna harvest them for a while, okay guys? That's what you wanna do. Delicious, full of nutrition full of punch guys this is really good really really good i'm surprised i'm surprised i'm surprised i got a lot of peas guys so we can just fill them to see if they're really fit if they feel um like thick but not uh these might be already gone um i got a lot of them so far i don't know yet we'll see guys so far there's still still like there's a lot of peas in them let's put this side in so that one's ready uh oh Happy Father's Day to all the fathers. Oh, for this one, but I'm gonna wipe it. It's not that many bugs on this one, but there's bugs. Let's see if we can get close up on that. See those little specks? There you go. Those little dark specks. Those are bugs. Okay, so we're not going to... I'm going to wipe this one off because I want to show you guys what it looks like when it's not ready. And they're green, too, so you better watch out for your, your food. All right, let's see if we can open this up. There you go. And as you can see, you got some peas already ready, but there's like two peas that's not ready. Okay, and let's see if I can see. Oh, there we go. See that pea there? That's not ready to be harvested. And there's another pea like that small. But the other ones I can eat for now. So those aren't ready, okay? You gotta make sure this really, really thick. The husk is thick and you can't smush it. Sorry for the noise, guys. You know I live in the area. Every time I come outside, they're 
Kızı pardon o halde. home up in there. Okay, and then we have this oopsie big tooth spider. <laughs> we have a spider up in there, so we're gonna leave him there and let him do we go do these bugs on you. Okay. Okay. We're gonna have eat them bugs on you because we don't need them bugs, bro. We do not need the bugs, okay? That's what we don't want, it's the box. Mm. They're like all over, guys. I've never had this many peas before. I'm gonna be harvesting. <laughs> and my bean stalk is like way up here, so I'm excited for that, guys. I mean, really excited for that. It's really, I mean, she's tall and she's leaning over. Okay. I'm excited this year for these peas. I'm excited this year. Ooh, look at that one. I don't know if we're gonna have collard greens or we're gonna have peas tonight. I'm not sure. <laughs> Both of them are looking mighty tempted to eat. That one, well, uh, let's see. Yeah. And you know, the, har the more harvest you get off your peas, the, the more you harvest, the more it grows back. So that's what I'm really excited for, that I'll be getting peas until they die back. And they don't look like they're dying, trying to die back anytime soon, which I'm happy for, so I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to complain. I don't know yet. She's gonna go all crazy on me. <laughs> trying to hold her up so I can get the ones off because I don't want to take too long to harvest those ones that should be harvested. Mm. A little spider, it went somewhere. I felt it on my own one. guys see i got my long bing purple beans growing down in here let me see see this guys look at that i'm excited for those to come up so i can't wait for this to come up guys this is gonna be really really awesome i cannot wait i gotta get something to travel this up my baby's trying to grow me some food these are gonna be those purple beans Like I might have got all the things that I'm going, I'm, all the peas I'm going to take for now, guys. Yeah, I'm going to let the rest of them. These might be ready. Gonna let the rest of them grow. And school's almost out here, so it's definitely going to be noisier. <laughs> Noisy, uh, I don't know what's going on. Oh, okay, that's what that means. There's no way. Oh. You know, stuff blowing in there either. It doesn't blow in there, so we just leave it out. 
We'll just beat it out. We'll just beat it out. We'll just, we'll just, we'll just beat it out. All right, guys. So it looks like I got most of y'all of it. Let me get those. I have you guys leaning on there too long. Yeah, it looks like I got most of all the peas I wanted to get. And as you guys can see how healthy this bush, the stalks really look like they're still putting on food. So definitely I'm not pulling them up until they don't want to give me any more food, okay? So that is our harvest for the peas. Um... Let's see if we can get some strawberries, guys. I'm pretty sure not because I haven't. Oh, look at those bugs all over me. All right, we're gonna see if we can get some strawberries, guys. All right, so let's on to the strawberry beds. Well, guys, so I just said there's no more strawberries right now. So we do have peas. And this is my harvest, the peas today. I'm really excited, along with my collard greens and kales. I'm excited, guys. I'm really excited. It's my first time growing peas, so I'm happy for all the peas I'm going to shuck today. <laughs> Shucking those peas. So, now I'm excited for those peas, and I'm, it's my first time growing peas. I'm really excited. It's my first time ever, ever tasting um, fresh peas. Fresh peas out your garden, guys. I've never thought I would have fresh peas out of my garden. I'm really excited for my fresh peas out of my garden. I'm excited for everything that my garden has given me, will give me, and continue to give me. Um, I'm excited for this process, guys. Um, stay tuned. I do have an announcement to make. Um, it's exciting. Well, it's not an announcement. It's more of a giveaway. So if you, at the end of this video, see this little snippet leave me a vegetable or fruit sorry for all the noise once again if you at the end of this video leave me a fruit or vegetable emoji let me know that you've seen this video all right all right, so um, that's the end of this video, guys. I do hope you enjoyed my harvest, both harvests today. Um, collard greens and kales, and also my Alaskan snow peas, guys. I really, really had fun. I enjoyed myself, and I was excited to taste my first fresh snow pea. Um, well, uh, pea, put it that way. <laughs> it was really good. Robust taste, definitely, because it's fresh. And it was definitely sweet. I never thought that pea would come up out of there tasting sweet. I always wonder how they got peas to be sweet. But now I know. They're really, really good, guys. So, yeah. Um, I want to say thank you to all of my new subscribers, all my old OG subscribers that have been sticking with me for a very long time. Um, it's been a very long journey. I cannot wait. Now I am looking for a new homestead. So, if you have any suggestions, what state I should go. Leave me in the comments below. I want to say, remember, let's grow together so we can eat together. <laughs>